Hey everybody, I know it's been a while, um, I hope everybody saw the uh, Vegas vid and um, had a great time, uh, Gareth and I, it was a, it was a blast, and i um, trying to get some vids out, but I'm still extraordinarily busy, got a lot of projects um, uh, going on that were delayed because of um, uh, just power outages, and um, there's a major build back of uh, the neighborhood here, and I'm on the board and having to... Uh, get everybody taken care of. I mean, there's a, a lot of bad stories uh, for people pretty much losing uh, uh, great portions of their homes and, and things like that. Anyway, I wanted to give my bit on uh, this whole Adobe thing and uh, everybody's uh, up in arms uh, with Adobe. So what I wanted to put into perspective here is that um, while the whole comment or the troll comments, my opinion on that is you know, it's extraordinarily unprofessional for uh, any organization to uh, make those kinds of statements. But I really never liked uh, Adobe after Photoshop, um, what was it, 4 something or other. Primarily because because it became too much of a resource hog. And I'm never much of a fan of, of, of any product being a resource hog. And I didn't like the acquisition of uh, Macromedia either, where Flash became an Adobe product. But... Um, Setting that aside, and, 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 and my originating opinions of Adobe and itself being a resource hog, to put perspective on this whole issue of the 64-bit, one, I don't think there's going to be much of a, a performance gain um, in their f first release of the 64-bit. Uh, I, I, I'm just speculating here, but I highly doubt that they'll have worked out all their, their kinks and, and bugs. And two, the 64-bit for Windows will probably be one of the uh, few that are that are moving over and being native 64-bit for Windows because Windows, let's just put it for the 2008 model, still has to virtualize the Win32. Um, so y y anybody can roll the dice and see where it lands. But there should be another side of this instead of just attacking Adobe in terms of saying, well, Adobe didn't make it, you didn't make six, six, you didn't make it 64-bit. Well, m a lot of products um, for OS X were written in Carbon, including its own, many of its own applications from QuickTime to uh, iTunes and so on and so forth. Now, I don't quite know yet if um, uh, QuickTime ha has been upgraded to, or even, let's not even say it's so much of an upgrade because there's a difference in API, but let's, uh, I don't know if it's made the switch to the Cocoa platform. Now, what a lot of people don't know, at least from a developer's point of view, is that uh, OS X was planning to make every API 64-bit across the board. So, uh, Carbon would have been 64-bit, but um, Apple had changed their mind on giving Carbon 64-bit support. So, pretty much, that was the move to say, Coco is going to be our predominant API alongside with Java, and um, we're going to give this 64-bit uh, support. Adobe had to make a call in the time frame that, that the announcement was made and saying, well, we already have we already have our genre of products, not just, just one. They're not going to just say Photoshop needs to be 64-bit or Illustrator or whatever. They have to make a call, and if one product comes out that's 64-bit ahead of the other, big deal, you know. Um, it, it, they can skip a version or whatever. I mean, that, that kind of stuff happens. I mean, but I guess I digress a bit. But there, it could also be questioned on why Apple didn't decide to make Carbon 64-bit. There are lots of things written in Carbon out there, and I think that's kind of a, uh, a Microsoft move in a way to say, well, we're going to deliver something in our OS, but then no, we're not going to deliver something in our OS. Um, uh, hence some examples with Vista in terms of, of support, and with especially with the user file permissions that Vista had experienced. So... Um, you could certainly put part of the blame on Apple and not delivering a 64-bit carbon. They certainly had enough time. They're certainly the ones in control of the OS. And they can certainly say, you know, XYZ is going to get done, so on and so forth. So it's not just an, uh, an attack and let's all jump on Adobe Day. Um, there is certainly a lot of blame to go around on, on the 64-bit. But is it really worth it to get all heated up over a 64-bit version of Photoshop, which I highly doubt is going to give any benefit in this first release. Um, I, I, just, I just really don't see it now. I could be wrong on that because I haven't used it, but I really highly doubt it's going to give anybody the performance that everybody's all up in arms about and say, oh my gosh, we don't have 64-bit. I mean, there's lots of kinks 
and things that have to be tested before somebody goes on that. And I'm sure uh, Adobe's been given the, uh, the uh, 2008 model and the, and the Future Vista uh, or Windows 7 uh, releases. And uh, Apple just didn't deliver a Carbon 64-bit API for Adobe. And so pretty much it is a hell of a lot of work to rewrite everything. And, and money isn't everything. You may have money, but there's also time, and, and there's lots of other factors to consider. I mean, you can throw gobs and gobs and gobs of money at something, hence Microsoft was a great example of how much money do they throw at one OS, and you have people that are bitching about the OS, so money's not the answer to everything. There's there's lots of variables in terms of, of development. So I just wanted to leave it at that, and there's I certainly don't have a very favorable opinion. I've, I've been heard on, on Cost's own stream of, of not uh, liking Adobe very much because to me it's too much of a resource hog um, and uh, I think even Carson had asked me what, what, what about all of this carbon and, 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 and cocoa issue so basically the, the bottom line is, is Apple is going to be giving um, its other API 64-bit support and, and just leaving carbon behind I think they're just wanting to reduce the amount of APIs uh, for programmable languages going into uh, OS 10. Anyway, I, I am going to try to get more videos out there. I, I, I am swamped with, with a lot of things. I mean, right now, we're going to see application as it is. So, um, anyway, um, it's, it's good to be back, sort of. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching.